go into Grand Cayman. <laughs> Every morning I wake up, it's a new day. When it gets hard, I move on. Wait for the end, I hold on. In the night. Good morning for me and my first official look at the Caribbean Grand Cayman Islands. I mean, the sky really is that pink and blue. So I'm waking up today on Friday in the Caribbean in the Grand Cayman Islands. It's my first time here and I'm so excited to be here despite a 21 hour travel schedule yesterday. I'm here with the Grand Cayman Islands Tourism Board and I'm just here to discover everything about this magical little place in the Caribbean. Obviously jet lag is a thing. I'm up and it's 6 a.m. here just before sunrise. So we're staying at the Kimpton Sea Fire Resort. The Grand Cayman Islands have so many nice places to stay, but I'm told that this one is one of the nicest. So very, very grateful to be staying here. Um, I've got a junior spa suite, which I will give you a tour of um, later. It's just a bit dark in there at the moment. And we've got an action-packed itinerary. So um, I'm gonna be able to show you guys so much cool stuff when I'm here. So this is a first for me. I never, ever, ever unpack when I come on holiday or for travel for work. So I decided since I'm here for a week, I'm gonna make the effort to actually hang up all my garments so I can see everything. So we're off on our first excursion of the day. We've just met up with um, our driver who's going to be chauffeuring us around in our car today. We're so excited. It's all of our first times here. So yeah, just excited to get to know the island. Absolutely no way. Come back. Oh my god, no way. The girls have flown off in the helicopter aka the machine of death. I'm not going because I already have a fear of flying and that's just too risky for me. And my sister who works for BA also isn't on it. So that is reason enough for me not to go. So they're gonna be back in 15 minutes and then we are chartering a boat and we are here at the moment by the shipwreck near Georgetown and then we are getting lunch at Kamana Bay and then we are sailing over to Stingray City. This reef's here, we're gonna get out, we're gonna swim with some stingrays. It's gonna be amazing. I like the sound of Margaritaville. That sounds uh, good to me. There's a resort and uh, the bar. Oh my god, they got a conch point. Me and Jessica went to Bahamas in May and we ate so much conch. Yep. Every meal. Is it a thing here? It is. They it's huge it. and it's now conch season, so it's very fresh. Ooh, so probably tonight yummy, yummy. Um, they'll have uh, conch ceviche in there. Go first, hold it on, I'll never look back. Oh. had lunch we are approaching Cayman Luxury Charter where we're gonna go out to Stingray City so these guys are taking us this is one of the things that I'm looking most forward to of the entire trip Jessica is ready to party and I'm ready to party <laughs> I must look trashed I'm completely sober we are off We've just pulled up at Stingray City. It's actually not that busy, so we're gonna try and find a parking space and then get in the water. Go, go, go. Anchors away! Woo! They're about this size. When they born, they call it pups. Oh, baby ray. Baby ray. Baby ray. Do not rub along the back because they have a cartilage spine. You may cut yourself. It's like a paper cut. It's not like you're gonna die. Ah. But it's, it's, it's annoying and it stinks with the salt water. Ooh. Hotel just in time for that beautiful sunset. So I'm just about to head downstairs into the lobby and meet the girls. Um, we're going to eat at a place called Lobster Pot today, uh, which is obviously a seafood shack. And there's a really cool viewing platform where we're gonna watch the big firework display, which is actually kicking off Pirates Week, which is um, happening here in Grand Cayman Island this week. So that's gonna be really fun. I had an amazing day at sea with the girls 
and now I'm looking forward to eating a lot of lobster and drinking a lot of champagne. My outfit for today, it looks really dressy but it's actually pretty casual. This is just like an All Saints slip dress which I'll link below. My mango silky bag and I've got um, gold jewellery which I've accessorised with. Just slicked my hair back with um, some gel oil. So yeah, super simple. I'm gonna get Caribbean lobster tail, Cayman style because fried plantains, my absolute favorite. So we've got a little conch salad here. This lobster tail looks epic. Are you excited? I'm so excited for this. That's cute. What did you guys get? Thank you, sir. Thank you, you got, Oh yeah, for the main. And you got? Steak. What kind of steak? A meaty kind of steak. A meaty kind of steak. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's tofu. Tofu. Steak. Tofu. Steak. Tofu. Steak. Tofu. Steak. Tofu. That's pretty. Pretty. Like you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's nine. 30? Maybe it's 9.45 actually. I've just got into bed. Into my <laughs> massive, massive bed. I'm starfish sleeping tonight. So lobster pot was really good. Um, I had the juiciest, fattest lobster tail I've ever had in my life. It was lovely. Drank a lot of Sauvignon Blanc. We were talking to Jay, the PR guy, about the Cayman Islands a little bit more and the fact that it's like known as a tax haven and stuff. They don't get any tax on their income here. Like that's crazy. When I think about all the tax I pay, it, <sighs> I mean, no wonder people move here. You know when you come into your hotel room and you've had turn down service? I really like it because, you know, they like fold over the bed for me just in case I couldn't get in on my own. Put a little chocolate on my pillow because I might want to just have a chocolate even though I've brushed my teeth. I just think it's cute. Tomorrow we are basically spending half the day at the beach and then it is the Pirates Week parade kicking off festivities tomorrow. And we've got prime seats, so that's gonna be really fun. So I'm looking forward to that. So going to bed now. Good night. Every morning I wake up, it's a new day. So I've just come down to the poolside at the Kimpton. I'm just gonna lie down and get some sun because it's the first chance I've had to do that and Tan myself up a little bit. The poolside here is gorgeous. So gorgeous. And then the beach is just over there. Caribbean sun is crazy hot. Apparently this is the like prime time to come to the Cayman Islands. Everybody likes to come at this time because it's like a little bit of winter sun. It's just out of hurricane season as well. So the weather clears up a little bit, but it does get a teeny bit cooler as well and less humid. So perfect in November and December. <laughs> Morning guys, it's day three here at the Grand Cayman Island trip and it is sunrise. <laughs> One advantage of the jet lag is you get to wake up and witness the Caribbean at what I think is its most beautiful. Every morning I wake up, it's a new day. When it Today gets is a Kimpton Hotel day. We're basically spending the whole day at the hotel. Um, we've got a boozy brunch at 12. Brunch is apparently quite a big deal in the Cayman Islands, so it can be a dressy affair. So we're gonna do that at 12, and then we're just gonna spend the whole day relaxing on the beach, chilling by the pool. Um, we've got a cabana booked. So yeah, it's just gonna be a really nice relaxing day, not moving around, because up until now, the itinerary has been pretty hectic. I love that when you walk into your room, you can see the sea, like, immediately. I know, it's beautiful. I love the horizon. I just realized, I never gave you guys uh, a proper room tour, so I'm gonna show you now uh, where I'm staying. This is the junior spa suite, and I'm on the sixth floor. So this is the room here. You've got a big king-size bed, a closet space over there, a little mini kitchen, and then a TV area and sofa, and then my bathroom, which, wow, they've just come in and, like, organized everything. I love how they tidy here. I know, they tidy really, Amazing. really, really well. Like, they just made this little flat lay for me. So, yeah, this is my double sink area. The toilet's over there. And then there's a big bath space. I've yet to have a bath yet, but I really, really do want to take advantage of this beautiful tub. And then there's, like, a wet room shower situation. All the rooms here are gorgeous. They have some crazy big suites as well like double floor and then they have a room that's slightly smaller than this one too. 
my god it's so funny there's like quite a few americans here and i can hear my american accent coming back so i used to have an american accent when i lived in puerto rico and like whenever i hear the twang i'm like Aah! like it just slides back I'm gonna get dressed up because brunch is a dressy affair and meet the girls down there in half an hour just done a little hair mask my hair's in the sun every day here so i've got this superfood hydrate from purology one of my favorite hair care brands sulfate free really nice for my scalp vegan avocado oil and coconut oil in that and i just wanted to share with you guys also my like savior this is lancaster um tan maximizer basically it helps prolong tan it's got really nice after sun um soothing properties in it too i'm like quite sun sensitive and when i do tan um it doesn't last so this actually prolongs my tan it's also after sun so i'm all ready for brunch i've settled on a silky skirt like almost to my ankles and then a cute knitted halter top some gold jewelry and i've just put some oil and gel through my hair just to like kind of give it a wet look because it's going to be getting wet later because i'll be straight in the beach after the brunch. We're at brunch. Oh, Jessica's just turned up. I'm going to show you guys uh, all the food that's on here. Crazy. It looks like we've got some meat and fish here. And then a pasta bar, chicken, prime rib, a more traditional breakfast station with pancakes and an omelet bar. And then a raw fish bar here. Sushi, for anyone that wants to be a little bit more healthy, there's a salad bar as well. I think I'm gonna go up like three times. I'm gonna pace myself. Cheers. Cheers. This is the American core. This is the beauty of bottomless brunch. Everyone eats different things. <laughs> Beth's having pasta. Jess is on the pancakes too. Jess is having oysters. Is that the only kind of shot you like? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> gonna get some of that in a minute but I, I didn't think I liked sushi and I'm enjoying it so I'm embracing it. Lauren wanted a dessert so I brought her dessert. I brought her every single dessert. What she's failing to mention is that I got my own dessert she put her finger in it and smudged it everywhere. I wish you would have stayed but that's how it goes that's how it goes that's how it goes. Hey guys so we've just arrived at the Crystal Caves. Um, this is like a nature reserve on Grand Cayman. There's loads of wildlife around here and um, some really quite stunning caves as well that I'm looking really forward to seeing. Hi, what's your name? Rudy. Rudy, hey Rudy. Are there gonna be a lot of uh, Komodo dragons? Because I'd, I'm quite scared of those. We don't have Komodo dragons. What do you have? Iguanas. Oh yeah, how big do they get? Pretty big, heads about that size, but not in here. Okay. We may have a few little small ones, green ones, just for that length. We have snakes. <gasps> Are they poisonous? No. Okay. Racer snake. snakes. Tarantulas. They're um, no, non-poisonous. Mm -hmm. And they eat frogs, uh, lizards, rats. I love eat. that you've got your cigarettes in there. Yeah, that's hilarious. Actually, these, <laughs> no, these, are, these are batteries. <laughs> oh, are they? No. No. <laughs> this one is the third cave we're going to be going into. It's known as the lake cave. So this is one of the most toxic plants on the island. It's called the maiden plum, and kids call it the get out of school plant because if you get the droplets from the leaves onto your skin, it blisters and turns black, and you have to be out of school for a week to heal. We've just been pointed out a tiny family of bats. There they are, hanging out. Nap time. But I don't, oh, I don't need you. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't need you anymore. Is this my color? Yeah, I'm right. Yeah? Doesn't fit because of my top knot. Do you put it on? Yeah, do you want me to do you? I love how much we've bonded on this trip. Putting the mossy replant all over each other. So we've come down to Rum Point today for some lunch and relaxation. Definitely worked up an appetite after all that caving. So looking forward to this. Pickles, chili cheese fries, calamari, nachos, all the rum. And this is just the first course, guys. I am 
so full. We had two courses here and it was really, really yummy. But what was most yummy were the cocktails. I don't know what it is about the Caribbean, but the rung cocktails are always better in the Caribbean. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. I'm just walking along Grand Cayman's famous Seven Mile Beach to a jetty a little bit further in the distance because Tonight we are going on a sunset catamaran cruise. The girls are actually about 200 meters ahead of me. I'm always late for these things, so I've been stuck on my own, but that's fine because it's absolutely stunning right now. It's a stunning time of day. The light's dipping. It's that beautiful golden hour. And to be honest, this trip's been amazing, but it's like, I'm kind of relishing the alone time tonight, just walking along the beach. Not speaking to anyone apart from you guys. It's really lovely and it's just given me a chance to reflect on how amazing this opportunity has been and how beautiful the Caribbean is. Such a fun last night in Grand Cayman. Tomorrow we fly to Little Cayman, which is a teeny tiny island off Grand Cayman. We're getting the smallest sea plane over there, by the way. It seats like 10 people. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so scared of flying already. So the fact that I'm in a teeny tiny plane makes me want to die. So up at the crack of dawn, my alarm's set for five o'clock a.m. I've got some coffee coming and I'm gonna pack then because I'm way too tired to pack now. Time to leave the Kimpton which is super sad. I've absolutely loved my stay here. It's been beautiful, luxurious. The service is incredible but I'm looking forward to going to Little Cayman but at the moment my bed, my king size bed is calling. Good night. Everyone wearing their chunkiest stuff. All packed. Off we go. <laughs> Let's go find the other girls. Here's the canoes we're gonna take over to the tiny island. I've never been in a canoe before. This definitely counts as my workout for the day. Jessica's my kayak buddy. She is on the back end on the way over. Do you know the back end's the more difficult end? You put in more work at the back. You always do, my friend. You always do. None of us are experienced kayakers, but... Oh. World champion over here. Really? Just go twice. Can't even get them off the sandbank. It's gonna be short lived. We're basically hugging the shoreline all the way to that tiny island over there. We have arrived! Woo! I swear to God, I've grown an extra set of biceps. This is our private island for the day because there's nobody here but us. Oh, it's beautiful. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon on our last day here. Um, that little blue hut behind me is my bedroom. I'm currently sat in a deck chair and believe it or not, this is the first time in a week I've had the opportunity to sit and read my book. All the other girls have gone out for a bike ride, but me being the introvert I am, I am craving some alone time. No voices or conversations happening around me, just me and the sound of the ocean. Every morning I wake up, it's a new day when it gets hard. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here as we sail into the sunset. This day has been so magical. Anyone who ever comes to the Caribbean, it always feels like home. Everyone's so friendly. The vibe of life is great. The pace is amazing. The weather is beautiful, the colours are, you can't even paint them. So yeah, it's been an amazing trip and I'm going home tomorrow and I'll be slotting right back into um, festive life back in London. But this little sunshine break has been amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you back here on my channel really soon. Bye for now. Wait for, wait for the end, I hold on.